Hello, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to install a dedicated server for Armour 3 and this is an official one as it just came up in the update that happened like yesterday and it actually works and you can use this with it, the TAA2 DST whatever, the, um, the dedicated server for Armour 2 for Armour 3 so to do this you need to obviously go into Steam update armor free if you haven't done that already but it should do that automatically and after you go into that you go into computing computer uh, go where you've installed it so you, you probably install it in your steam oh no mind there steam apps common armor free and then now you should see something like this armor free server and you can do this on the computer you're going to play on free, or you can do it on another computer. Like I got my Mac next to me, I'd do it on that. And even though Armor Free doesn't actually work on Windows XP, because uh, it doesn't have DirectX 11, you can host a server off a Windows XP um, operating system, even though it doesn't even support it and you can't actually run Armor, but you can run the server. And that was pretty helpful because I have Windows XP, and uh, if it didn't work, I'd be screwed pretty much but yeah it works and it's really helpful so to do this you really need to get download this off the armaholic website the, the it, it helps control it so that you don't actually have to go inside the game and choose it yourself so it's much easier uh, go drag this in there copy you want to do is launch it and you get zero message, just press yes, yes, or press no, I guess yes, no. Right, go up here, uh, this is just a basic tutorial on how to set just the normal stuff up. You change this to armor 2 OA, even though it says OA, it's, it just works, I don't know why, I don't know how, it just does work. Or you can set it to private, that will work over LAN, but if you want it online, you go OA. So you go server name, type whatever you usually type in a type for born noobs uh, password I don't think the admin password works on there I know the password does but the admin doesn't keep this the same increase the players whatever system battlefield you want on uh, this is the main bit the server file you'll press browse go into where you've installed obviously armor free in steam apps common uh, press the armor free server and once that's done like that that'll work uh, I think some mods work for it I'm not too sure Choose a mission, whether these are all the multiplayer missions I've downloaded, so if I wanted to go into, I don't know, Ambush Convoy, do that one. Uh, click the mission, uh, click any mods you want, so like Armor 2, I've added Armor 2 to my Armor 3, but I don't really want that, and I tried Daisy, and that was a bit weird. But yeah, uh, these you just leave alone, unless you know what you're actually doing, then you can change whatever you want, but... It might not work. Uh, Battle Eye, I usually leave that off. But I, you can turn that on, I guess. And that will say Battle Eye's come up. But I'm not sure if Armor 3 uses Battle Eye. Like Armor 2 did. So, that's out of the question. Just press launch. And this should come up. It loads on the add-ons you've put on. I put none on. And, yep. And this will come up. Dedicate host server created. Host identity created. Right, and that is it. Uh, once you've done that, you want to go uh, launch Armor 3. So I'll do that now. Right, as you can see, uh, I am on Armor 3. Uh, nothing's changed in the layout except the news. It says dedicated servers there, so that kind of hinted me to make this. Uh, but if you go and play multiplayer, uh, on the multiplayer, if you see an internet, you should see a load of servers if I unfilter this. You'll see a load of servers like that. If you want to find your server, just filter it. Pull noobs. And you'll see it. You should see it, as long as you have the ports forward, which is 2302. Uh, I'm not going to go through that over this over this tutorial because, well, that's, that's a whole another subject. Uh, so... You can either do this, or you can go to LAN, which quickly finds it, but if you want to know that it's working on the internet, I'd find it on the internet first. Don't worry about the ping, the ping 
will start once the game's created, so always say 2500, except on LAN for some reason. It's just LAN ping, I guess. But yeah, if you go onto the internet one, wait a bit. Just connecting. Right? I'm on T Times Warfare. It's not the one I chose because the one I chose didn't work that well. Uh, because it like froze and stuff like that so some missions don't work with this dedicated server so like S CTI, Warfare, game modes like that work and then I think some co-op works but don't try single players with this just use your computer because this it screws up single players because it, obviously it's an alpha so it's barely been adapted to make it alright uh, apparently if you go on the parameters you can't change this I'm not sure how to change this uh, hopefully they'll change that in the future but yeah if you just choose your player it's just like the other armor 2 just choose your civilian blue 4 op 4 just choose the person you want to be that's okay uh, you're downloading the mission file because well I have got this running on this computer uh, on another computer because if I had my server running on this one like I showed you in the last part it would lag the recording so I've got it on a Marvel computer over here on the XP one and it won't lag now but it's all the same way even on XP and on Windows 7 so we're in uh, yep a bit, uh, bit lag there just as it comes in but otherwise whoop, like that this does lag spikes when you get in the game because it's rendering the whole map one thing with armor they need to sort out is not to render the whole map, just render parts. But yeah, once you're in, you'll see this if you had the same one as me, I guess. But yeah, this is pretty much the dedicated server. You'll see it will stay up for as long as persistent battlefield if you clicked it on. And you can just quickly go off and on whenever you want. And it's pretty good, so everything works the same. That was pretty loud. You don't have to substitute anything or lose anything just to get this working. It all works fine. Except for obviously the parameters and other stuff, which is really annoying. Well, folks, yeah, hope you like the tutorial. Comment and subscribe. And see you next time.